Okay, if I still have, if I have some pages that still stick out, I can do some trimming or tearing just to make them nicey nice. And that sometimes happens because, um, see how this doesn't, it's not flush against there yet. We're going to glue this straight to that back. So that's going to be flush against there. That's going to pull it in. But if, if you find, because you now have added the thickness of this cardboard spine in there that might push everything this way a bit. So you might have some stuff that sticks out and I, I can just trim that down later. Um, but what I will do, it's not glued in yet. Let me just trim it now since you're all attached to spine. Okay. Where's my big ruler? I'm just going to do a little more trimming here. I don't have to deal with it once it's in there. It's easier. Sometimes it's easier before, before committing to the big finale. I don't have my, let me get my cutting mat. This apparently is a cutting mat. Look at that. Who knew? I didn't know. Somebody asked me once what this was. It's apparently a uh, grid and a, a, a cutting mat. It's made by Fiskar and I got it at the, uh, the thrift store. And uh, I just thought it might be a nice glue mat, but who knew it has other purposes. Okay. That looks pretty straight, right? Okay. Where's my Where'd they go? There they are. Okay, my craft knife. I'm just gonna trim this down just a little bit more. Okay. There we go. All right, let's let's do another remeasure. Let's retract for safety reasons. I'm gonna be a good steward here. Yeah, we are almost in there. I'm gonna call that pretty darn close. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. 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 Pretty good, huh? Maybe a few little hairs in there. I'm not going to worry about it for another day. Um, okay, so let's glue her in and we are all done. Then that is your journal construction using a repurposed book cover. Um, so the world is your oyster with those. Just go to town, go to the old, maybe the used bookstore or the garage sale or the estate sale or ask your neighbors and friends, hey, you got any old books? They don't have to be old. Um, they can be newer books. You can use newer book covers and um, they use the nice quality book uh, book board in them and uh, it's thick and it's the right thick you know you're it's just strong right from the get-go and we're making our spine extra strong so you're not gonna have any problems okay, I use a lot of glue here I do and uh, gotta make sure I've got my upsy downsies right here closer farther closer farther okay so I know this is up yep and then I'm just gonna put it down there and you do have a few seconds to massage around and get in the right place but the ultimate tester is going to be closing the book and you want to make sure it is in the center mm -hmm. there we go push that um, you can take this whole clump and push to get it to sit down nice and low you don't have to crumple the paper but just give it a good shove and uh, then what i like to do see now it's all nestled see that right in there checking in the bottom See how the inner spine is right against the outer spine? That's what you want. Push it down. If it's not, you can get in there and you can even, you know, use your ruler and slide it in and squash down if you need to do that. Although you shouldn't. And, um, okay, it's getting that all down there. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm double checking again. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. There's my up. And then I just usually clamp this with a clamper, which I had right here. At the ready? Hang on. Okay. And I'm just going to clamp it just to hold it in place. And then I go get a well-earned snack after all that. So I'll probably leave this in place for about an hour. Honestly, this glue will grab faster than that. But because it's such an important connection, I just let it sit for about an hour. And honestly, it takes me that long to graze my snack. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had fun. It was fun for me to show you guys. And I have a lot more... Um, uh, ways I can show you about how to make journals and um, I hope you like what's coming up soon. Uh, I'm doing a podcast now. Do it. It's called The Paper Outpost The Joy of Junk Journals. Come check it out. There's a link below the video and I'm Twittering. If you like to tweet or like to be Twittered at, uh, jump on board. I'm doing Instagram and uh, Pinterest and uh, um, what else? I feel like there's something else I'm missing. Uh, oh, anyway, I've got the playlists down below if you want to follow along on a playlist like the Using Up the Book Pages playlist or the How to Make uh, uh, an Actual Journal Covers and Signatures playlist, something like that, or the Alphabet Challenge, or I think I might make a separate page layout playlist because that seems to be something that's developing out of my 
my videos now. Um, and I think that they're a um, art form to themselves, or, or at least they're a creature to themselves because making ephemera and sticking it on the page is one way to fill a page, but creating the page from ground zero and just using things to build the page right from that place is another thing that's a really handy skill to know because um, you're going to be faced with many blank pages in your uh, journals and you may want to put cool things on them. And this is just, this just gives you options. You're going to have many, many options. Um, uh, and I got a lot of ideas coming. I uh, Please like, subscribe, and share if you find value here. If um, you... Uh, have any ideas for me. I'd love to hear them. I love reading your comments. Um, please let me know what you'd be interested in seeing or if you have an idea and you, you want to say could you possibly try that I will definitely put it on my list of uh, videos and I'll give it a try. Why not? Um, and uh, what else? That's pretty much it. So I'm going to sign off now. You have an awesome day and as you can see it did not take us that long to make a journal. I think we are at the uh, one hour and 22 minutes. This is probably going to be broken down into two, three parts I'd say. Um, but there you go. You should be able to make a journal in a, in a couple hours and then the rest is just playtime with the uh, page layouts and the ephemera and the embellishments and the fun stuff. It's all fun stuff actually but I just wanted to show you that this doesn't take that long and if you do it right with me you can stop me, rewind, look again to be doubly sure and don't expect perfection right out of the gate. Um, expect learning curve. Expect um, trial and error. And I strongly encourage you to go listen and watch everybody's videos on how to make a journal because you are going to find things that totally make sense to you. This person said it a certain way. That person has a different technique that works better for you. Um, and that's what I did. I watched about a billion how to's uh, back in my day. And I took little pieces and parts from everybody and I basically created something and I tried a few things that worked for me like the crocodile bite. I thought I, I need to be I need a bigger hole. <laughs> Maybe it's the uh, blind as a bat, um, you know, 50, 55 year old now who, uh, uh, you know, has trouble finding uh, the, the way through the forest. But um, um, the crocodile changed my world with that. And uh, uh, the darning needle, the nice soft edge, so I don't uh, needle stick, so I don't keep poking myself as it's coming through. But anyway, um, there you go. Have an awesome day. Happy crafting. And I cannot wait to see what you guys make. So please put them on the uh, Facebook page so I can see too and oogle over your stuff. And we can all learn and uh, grow together. And it's because of you guys, we are uh, spreading the word that fun can be simple. Take care, everyone. Bye.